The following program has been sponsored by generous friends and partners of Fred Jordan Missions. Sometimes it takes history a long time to reveal where you get your strength. Today I want to share with you two words, duplication, multiplication. You see, I think it takes duplication to have multiplication. What do I mean by that? If we can duplicate ourselves as a ministry, Fred Jordan Missions, to reach more people for Jesus, then we can see multiplication of the kingdom of God. Because as more of us go, beyond just the four walls of Fred Jordan Missions and Skid Row, then we can meet the needs and reach more with the good news, the gospel message that Jesus saves. And that's what we're doing today. I wanna to share with you what Jesus said in Matthew 28, 19. Jesus said, go and make disciples of all nations. You know, I wanna make it very clear today as we're out in the Coachella Valley and we're here at Grace Church, in Desert Hot Springs. There are many places, not only in LA, not only on Skid Row that have needs, but many places here in the Coachella Valley that have needs also. And this is one of those. We're gonna be working with Grace Church today doing a Hope Rig outreach. Hope served here in the Coachella Valley. But let me tell you, one thing I want you to know as our viewer, as our friends is this. Right now, if I looked at my clock, we would be opening the doors, and we are opening the doors, a hundred miles west at Fred Jordan Missions. Make no mistake, just because I'm here today and we have a team here today partnering with Grace Church to reach the lost, to demonstrate God's love, and to declare the gospel that Jesus loves us and Jesus saves, we are still downtown on Skid Row doing what we do best, declaring and demonstrating. The same corner, the same two streets, Fifth and Town, the same mission, Fred Jordan Missions. Over 75 years now, we've been declaring and demonstrating God's love, meeting the needs of the poor, the needy, the homeless, the hungry, and the helpless. In just a little while, the chapel will start where we'll preach and share that Jesus loves people and how Jesus can change people if they would just give them their heart. And Jesus saves people every day at Fred Jordan Mission on Skid Row. And then we'll feed them. We'll have a wonderful meal because we wanna see duplication there also. As we duplicate by sharing with the teens that come and the youth and the churches and the groups that come and help us volunteer, we pour into them the vision that God has given us to reach the lost, the hurting, and the helpless and the homeless. Then they can go to their communities and reach their communities, their cities, and their neighborhoods for Jesus. They come and work with us so that we can teach them and show them so they can go and do the same. You see, as we duplicate ourselves and reach more people, then we'll see multiplication of the kingdom of God. And that's really what we care about. We care about seeing the kingdom of God grow. We care about seeing more people come to know Jesus because it's not enough to sit forever on one corner. It's not enough to just sit in one place forever, but we wanna share Jesus everywhere we go. And that brings me to the next scripture I wanted to share with you. You know, it says, go and make disciples of all nations. But in Acts chapter one, verse eight, it says this, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and Samaria Judea and to the uttermost parts of the earth. Look, Fred Jordan Mission, downtown Skid Row is happening right now, meeting the needs of people, praying, preaching, 
and displaying God's love to those who are hurting and homeless right now. And it'll continue to happen. But here we are in the Coachella Valley and we're going to the next part, Judea, Samaria. You know, you don't have to get on an airplane to go and reach the needs of people. You can be 50 miles to my left over here to the west in Riverside, 50 miles on the other side, and you can be in San Bernardino, you can be in Venice, you can be wherever you get called by God to be in Southern California and have needs, people who need Jesus and people who need help. So I just wanna encourage you to continue to watch and stand with us as today we're gonna to declare and demonstrate here at Grace Church in Desert Hot Springs, but we are gonna see ourselves as a ministry, Fred Jordan Mission, duplicate ourselves, teach and train this church and other churches how to do what we do so we can see the kingdom of God multiply. Because if we can reach more people for Jesus, then we'll see God's glory, God's grace, God's deliverance, and God's healing touch a bigger population. As long as there's one soul, one soul, Fred Jordan Mission will go where we're called to go to meet the needs and reach people for Jesus. Stay tuned. The year was 1944 when the doors of the Fred Jordan Missions opened at the corner of Fifth and Town. 75 years of serving the homeless on the streets of Skid Row in downtown Los Angeles. It is impossible to put a number on how many meals have been served in our dining room, how many pairs of shoes and socks have been handed out, family food bags, takeaway meals, and how many people have surrendered their hearts and lives to Jesus Christ while sitting in our chapel or in one of our mission events. Millions would be an understatement. And yet, after 75 years, we are not done. God has called us to carry on this work. This is our mandate, to declare and demonstrate the love of God to all those in need. Will you partner with us today with a special celebration gift of $75? Together with your support, we can continue to make a world of difference in the lives of those in need. Please help us today. Thank you so much in advance for all you will do to further God's work through Fred Jordan Missions. Well, here we are in the Coachella Valley getting ready to fill these chairs with people who need Jesus. I want you to know as our viewers, those who watch and stay in tune with our program and ministry and what we do, that Fred Jordan Missions isn't closed today because I'm here and we have a team here. We wanna duplicate ourselves duplicate ourselves in other areas that God calls us to meet the needs of poor men, women, children, and that's what we're doing today. You know, we read at first about going to all nations and making disciples, but look, you don't have to get on an airplane to go meet the needs of people. You don't have to get on an airplane to go to a mission field. In fact, Southern California has a mission field in every neighborhood. And that's what we want to do. We want to go to every neighborhood, to every place that God calls us. Never leaving Skid Row, never uh, neglecting that calling to downtown to meet the needs of the homeless and the poor, because that is a great calling we have and have always had. But we want to continue to go past Jerusalem to Judea, Samaria, and the uttermost parts. And that's why we're out here today, because we're going to be sharing that Jesus saves, that Jesus delivers, that Jesus loves people and sharing that good news, the gospel. And so that's gonna happen in just a few minutes. But until then, I just wanna share with you a little bit more about how Fred Jordan Mission has always done things like this. You know, my father started Fred Jordan Missions and American Soul Clinic. American Soul Clinic was really a training center, a training center where he could teach young people and youth and lay people in the ministry how to go and share their faith, how to go and get on an airplane or go to Mexico or go to the Coachella Valley or go to Skid Row and share that Jesus has a plan, that Jesus loves people and that Jesus will meet every need if they would just put their faith and trust in him. 
That's why it's so important that we go, as the Word of God says, to make disciples of all nations, to make disciples of all those who are lost, whether it's in Desert Hot Springs, Coachella, Mecca, Thermal, or in downtown LA on Skid Row. As we're continuing to minister today to those on Skid Row, to those who have homelessness as something that they live in every day, we will continue to be here too in Desert Hot Springs, reaching out to the lost and the needy. You know, it's great to see children, it's great to see youth and families come. It, it's kind of a different environment here than we have on Skid Row, but the needs are the same. You know, I like to say it like this, I can do a good thing and you can do a good thing and Grace Church can do a good thing. But together, we can do extraordinary things as Jesus uses us to work together to build his kingdom. You see, it's not about one church, it's about the church, the kingdom of God. And as long as there's one soul, we are going to go out to share the gospel, to win that one soul. Hey, stay tuned, Chris and Gina are going to share with you about a resource that we wanna get in your hands. It's absolutely free. It's awesome. So stay tuned as they share with you some of the nuggets from that resource. It's a great Bible study tool for you that will bless you and it's free from Fred George Missions. Chris, it's been so much fun going through the booklets with you, Feet to Faith, but this particular one, Don't Stumble Over Jesus. Tell me what this study is about. It's one of my favorite Bible studies, actually. One of my personal favorites because it deals with a topic that I think we can all relate to, especially as women, mm -hmm. and that is faulty assumptions and oh. unrealistic expectations. Really? Primarily about <laughs> Jesus. Yes. But the study, um, you know, it's a study about John the Baptist and what happened to him after he was arrested and thrown in prison. But there's also a back-to-back -back account right there in the book of Luke that talks about um, what Jesus did for a widowed mom mm. who had lost her only son. And when we look at these two accounts side by side, we see John the Baptist, who was Jesus's forerunner. He was his go-to guy. He was the guy who was set apart from birth to mm -hmm. be the one to go before the Lord, to prepare the way for him yeah. to come on the scene. And what ends up happening in his life is he is arrested, he's put in prison, and instead of being set free, he's actually executed in prison. And yet on the flip side of that, you have this widowed mom who has lost her husband. She's now lost her only son. She's grieving. She's at the funeral procession as her son is being carried out for burial. And Jesus comes on the scene and he raises her son from the dead. Mm. And we sit there as women of faith and we read that and we're like, wait a minute, that doesn't seem fair. Why did John the Baptist have his life ended in prison prematurely, according to you know our right. viewpoint. Mm -hmm. And yet this precious mom has her son raised from the dead. Didn't John the Baptist deserve the same type of miracle that this woman experienced from the Lord? And so this study is all about those expectations and those assumptions that we make of Jesus based on what we think he should do or what we think he should allow or what we think he shouldn't do as opposed to who he really is mm. as the God that we serve. And so I'm not going to say much more about okay. it. We just want to make this resource available yes. to especially all of our ladies who are watching. Mm -hmm. It's a free resource that we're offering free of charge. They just have to write in or call us and request it. Right. Um, but I think it's something, there's something in here that, that everybody can get a little something out of. Absolutely, and we want all of you at home to get the booklets for yourself. So you need to go to our website, fjm.org, and download a booklet for yourselves, for your friends, for your girlfriends, or call us here at FJM at 844-FJM-FOOD and get your own booklets today. They are short, they are sweet, they are powerful, and right to the point, and you will be blessed. And if I can, one yes. of the other things I want to mention too is it is a standalone Bible study, so it's something that women can do on their own time. It takes maybe about 45 minutes to an hour to get yeah. through the whole study. It's pretty quick. But um, at the back of the booklet, there are some uh, question and answers that are based on the study. Right. But then one of the other things that I wanted to share as well is at the back of the booklet, there is a section that I entitled Help 
I'm not a Christian. <laughs> and it's basically a gospel track for those who don't know Jesus, who want to have a personal relationship with the Lord. Or share the, the gospel effectively in to lead someone into the sinner's prayer. Absolutely. Yeah, so and it walks wonderful. them through that. And so it's just a great resource, not only for women to do on their own, but also to give out to others or to those who don't know the Lord yeah. yet. It's just a great witnessing tool. Right. And so we want to make that available to everybody. And another thing I love about it is um, when you have friends in Christ and uh, these booklets reading together just opens up mm -hmm. the conversation mm -hmm. to have to grow in your walk in the Lord together and also yeah to have this opportunity to write what the booklet has done for you and then you know how when you have a journal and you write things yeah. down and God does things and you can go back and reread it even if there's you know a prayer request in there you see what God's doing and you can go back reread it at another time right. and look at your answers and what you've written down and either God has met that need or mm -hmm. you've grown to another season of your life and um, so that's just a wonderful tool um, to have. And thank you so much oh, for not absolutely. only writing it in such a way that it's so, you know, adaptable to our lives, so understanding, so easy to read, and just so full of good nuggets that we can take, apply to our life, and keep moving forward with the Lord. So again, please call us at 844-FJMFU and get your booklets today. Join the conversation by connecting with us on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. Visit us at social.fjm.org. Here at Fred Jordan Missions every day, we see all all types of people. I remember as a kid, my father Fred and my mom Willie teaching me a song about Jesus loves the little children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, we are all precious in God's sight. I still know that song, I taught it to my children, and that's exactly what we see here at Fred Jordan Mission every day. Red and yellow, black and white. Every single person that you could think of, from children all the way to seniors, are here on the streets living in LA. And they come to our doors to be loved on, to be shared with that Jesus loves you and Jesus saves. You know, we hand out water, we hand out drinks, we hand out snacks, we preach the gospel, we have hot meals, we do special events. But if you wanna know who comes through our doors, it's all of us. There's no certain person, there's no certain look, but like I said in that song, red and yellow, black and white, we're all precious in God's sight. That's who we see here every day at Fred Jordan Mission. People from all around this country that end up on these streets can come through our door and we will serve them. You see, the homeless population has doubled over the last 20 years, and the homeless population continues to grow daily here in Los Angeles. In the city of Los Angeles, there's almost 40,000 now living on the streets in homelessness, and there's almost 60,000 in our county. But that's where you come in, partnering with Fred Jordan Mission. For over 75 years now, we've been here in the same building, on the same corner, with the same mission to declare and demonstrate the love of Jesus to those in need, to those who are hurting, homeless, helpless, hope served here. How can you do that? How can you be involved? Become an impact partner. You can give on your credit card, it's automatic every month, and together you and us, together we can make a difference in the lives of men, women, and children living on the streets and living in poverty. Whether you can give $100 a month or $50 a month, some can give more, some may be less. Whatever you give, remember, you're giving and you're sowing into making a difference into the least of these. And of course, in everything that we do to care for the poor, we always share Jesus, be your eternal hope. Because with Jesus and your partnership together, we can truly see lives changed every day throughout the year. God bless you. Duplication equals multiplication. If we can continue to duplicate ourselves by teaching and training and sharing the passion that we have for reaching the lost, the hurting, the homeless, and the hopeless, 
with Jesus in every community we go, to every church that we connect and partner with, then I believe we will see multiplication in the kingdom of God. You know, it's so important to not just stay only in one place, but to go, go as the word of God says, go into all the nations to preach the gospel. Jesus said it himself that we are to go. But you know, you don't have to get on an airplane. You don't have to go and fly halfway across the world to reach the lost for Jesus. No, you can come a hundred miles like we did from downtown Los Angeles, from Fred Jordan Mission, and you can be right here in the Coachella Valley where there's children playing in the bounce houses, children getting ready to eat hamburgers and hot dogs that we're barbecuing for them, children that are in need, that need love, they need the love of Jesus, but they also need to be demonstrated love. And that's why we're here today, to demonstrate and declare God's love. But you know, as long as there's one lost person, as long as there's one who needs Jesus, we wanna to continue to reach those who are in need, those who need Jesus, those who are lost. Because Jesus came to seek and to save that which was lost. That's what the Word of God tells us. Jesus came to seek and to save that which was lost. And the hope that Jesus provides is salvation. He can take a mess and he can make a miracle. We know that, I share that with you all the time. He took my life and he turned it upside down the right way because my life was upside down the wrong way. And he really right-sided my life. And now I'm here sharing the love of Jesus. I wanted to just share this with you because it's so important as we meet with volunteers and churches and, and young people and leaders and try to train them and teach them to go and do outreaches to reach their community that they remember that the Holy Spirit is the one that gives the power. That's what we read in Acts 1.8, that the Holy Spirit comes upon us as believers and indwells us. And He's the one that gives us the strength. He's the one that gives us the power. And I also believe that we need to encourage those who we meet, who we teach and train to reach the lost for Jesus, that they would be bold, that they would have the confidence that comes from the Holy Spirit, insight, and that they would know that they have the ability and the authority under Jesus to share the good news and to know that Jesus will touch and save boys and girls, moms and dads, young people. Whether they're homeless or not, Jesus cares for those who are lost because that's why he came. And you know, today I was thinking about it. Maybe you don't know Jesus and maybe you're at home and you're viewing today and and you've never accepted Jesus, well, I want you to know this, there's a God in heaven, God our Creator, who loves you and loves me. And He loves all of these boys and girls and all the people who are gonna come to this Hope Rig outreach today. He loves us all. How do we know that? Because of John 3.16. The Bible says in John 3.16, for God so loved the world, that's me and you, that He gave His one and His only Son, that whoever, whoever would believe in Him, would not perish, but have everlasting life. The Bible says that Jesus came to seek and save that which was lost, which is us, and he provided a way, he provided hope, and he provided salvation, forgiveness of our sins through Jesus and that great sacrifice on the cross. Jesus died, but not only did he die and he was buried, but he was resurrected by God the Father. And it's because of that resurrection power, it's because of the blood that he shed that can wash us white as snow, the Bible says, and become Christians, become his followers, become disciples of Jesus. And today, if you don't know Jesus, I just wanna encourage you. I wanna encourage you. Jesus loves you. And I know he does because he loved me when I was a mess. And he brought me and drew me to him by his loving Holy Spirit. And today, if Jesus is knocking on your heart, if you feel something inside, if you feel lonely, lost, if you're in despair, if, if there's tragedies or trials or storms in your life, Jesus is the one who can calm them. Jesus is the one that can deliver. Jesus is the one that can heal. But we have to place our faith and trust in Him. The Word of God says if we would believe and receive, then Jesus will save us, forgive us, wash us white as snow, and we can become Christians and we can know that our hope lies in Him and that when we die, we'll go to heaven and not go to hell because of our sin that separates us from God. If you just pray a simple prayer like this, 
you can know Jesus, be forgiven, and know that if you died today or tomorrow or whenever, that you would go to heaven and be with Jesus for eternity. Just pray a simple prayer like this. Dear Jesus, I believe that you came to this earth. I believe that you died on the cross. I believe that you love me and you died for me. I ask you right now to forgive me of my sins, cleanse me of all bad, all unrighteousness, all of that selfishness. Come into my heart, be my Lord and Savior. I need you, Lord, and I believe that you died for me. I receive you today in Jesus' name. If you prayed a simple prayer like that, then you are a Christian because Jesus sends his Holy Spirit into us. Now walk with confidence today. Walk with power and walk with boldness as Jesus is in you and Jesus will take you through every part of this life, whether it's good, bad, or ugly, he will be with you every day and continue to stand with Fred Jordan Missions as we come out to places like this, as we continue to minister on Skid Row, the love of Jesus, stand with us. We need you because together we can reach this world, duplicate ourselves, and multiply the kingdom of God one soul at a time. Hey, don't forget, we have a great resource for you. It's a great Bible study book. If you write us, if you call us, if you check on our website, we want to get it to you. You can download it. We can send you a hard copy, but it's a great resource, a great Bible study that will help encourage you to walk closer to Jesus. We want to give it to you today. Look it up. Don't forget. God bless you. Join the conversation by connecting with us on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. Visit us at social.fjm.org. in feeding hungry children and their families by phoning today, 844-FJM-FOOD or donating online, fjm.org. That's fjm.org. Or mail your check to Fred Jordan Mission, P.O. Box 12345, Covina, California, 91722. Please, will you help? The preceding program was sponsored by generous friends and partners of Fred Jordan Missions.